but it ah. There used to be a chorus that I remember singing uh, around the mid to late 80s. And the words of the chorus were simple. They went like this. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Counting our blessings is something that will help us keep grounded. Taking time to reflect on all that God has given us can change our hearts. It helps us ward off pride and remind us that every good thing is from above. James, Jesus' brother, warns us not to deceive ourselves. Listen to him in James 1.17. He says, Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. It's so easy for us to become pessimists, negative in our attitude, and forget the goodness and blessings of the Lord to us. Listen to David in Psalm 103. He says, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your iniquities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. God has been so good to us. Every good thing and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Every good thing we have was given to us from our Heavenly Father above. We may not look at it that way, but you will see that it was a blessing from the Lord when you look back and when you put all the dots together. We are blessed, we are blessed every day of our lives, we are blessed and therefore let's lift our voices in praise. Let's not be deceived into thinking that we are solely responsible for what we have in this life. If that were the case, we would have had a lot of headaches and heartaches from our decisions, but God decided to spare us in his grace. You see, there is a trap that a lot of Christians fall into, and that is thinking that we are all self-made persons. That permeates people's thinking because we buy into what society preaches. If you work hard enough and long enough, you will be a success. Now, don't get me wrong. The Bible says that God looks at our hard work and blesses us for our faithfulness. And we should work hard in order to provide the best we can for our family. However, we must always acknowledge that every good thing is from above. And James is writing this to remind people to be grateful for what God has given them. And so in your time of personal devotion, pause and bring to mind the blessings of God in your life. Those good gifts that he has given you. And then I can guarantee you, your heart will start praising and thanking him for his bountiful blessings. Ponder on the blessings of God can lift us out of negativity, out of pessimism and despair because 
every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow i leave you this morning with the words of the old hymn when upon life's billows you are tempest tossed when you are discouraged thinking all is lost Count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does the cross seem heavy you were called to bear? Count your many blessings, every doubt will fly, and you will be singing as the days go by. When you look at others with their lands and gold, Think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold. Count your many blessings money cannot buy. Your reward in heaven, nor your home on high. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged. God is over all. Count your many blessings. Angels will attend. Help and comfort give you till your journeys end. Count them one by one. Have a great day. Bo Bendith.